Hey guys, what's going on? So we got an 03 Toyota Highlander in the shop today and we're getting ready to do the struts and we'll show you what's involved in putting them in. All right, so we're gonna change the struts on this uh, 2003 Highlander. We've got a 12 millimeter bolt here for the brake line and for the ABS line. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna work that because we don't want it to break. Uh, the new strut comes with the new bracket so we just have to put a new bolt, but we're gonna try and save it. We got a 17 millimeter for the stabilizer link here. And normally you have to heat these to get them off. There's a little Allen head that's in here, but it's this is original, it's kind of crusty. So we're just gonna choose to heat it and we'll clamp the inside with some uh, needle nose vice grips and zip it off. And we got two seven eighths bolts here. On the top of the strut on the mount, there's three 14 millimeter nuts that we're gonna take off. We loosened up two of them, so it's kind of just hanging with one right now. So we're gonna start taking this all apart. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll, we'll take the top 14 millimeter nut off and we can feed the strut out. So we're going to start taking, we have a clip here, so we can slide this clip off right here. And get this off and we're going to get a 12 millimeter socket set up on this and get this thing to crack loose. We soaked everything with penetrating oil before we started. And this is a job you can do in your driveway. You can get up on jack stands. And we just put a, when we go to pull the strut out, we had a, uh, a little bit of a uh, pry bar underneath the control arm so that we can dictate to line up the bolts, these big bolts to go back in. So, all right, so we get this off, take this out, move this line off to the side here. And just gonna kind of just leave this floating here. And uh, this will stay out of our way. And let's get these seven eighths. Uh, actually, we'll do the this one for us. So we're gonna we're gonna heat this thing up. And we got some vice grips that we're gonna clamp on the inside here, and uh, we'll clamp these down. And we're just gonna heat this not up. Now these links are pretty re uh, inexpensive, and you know if you're doing it, you probably could get a new set of links on it. We're gonna leave this one. If we get any type of rattle with this afterwards, we'll, we'll you know, replace the links, but we're choosing to leave them right now. So we're gonna heat this up and then zip this off. And it's a 17 millimeter, but it seems like it swells up a little bit. We end up using an 18 on it. So we're gonna try it and see, see what we got. don't get it on the first try, we might have to put another pair of ice grips on the back side, a larger pair, but this will probably hold it. We'll try and get the Allen wrench in there and take it off with a Allen wrench and a ratchet and an a, and a, uh, open end wrench on, a box end wrench. It, it's just, it's pretty slow moving, so. Probably metric, but the seven eight fits right on, so we're going to go with that. And uh, we're on the nut side on this. One. It's coming off there. You gotta knock one of these bolts out. These are coming out pretty good. We're gonna never seize all this up before we put it back in. And you can grab the rotor and get a little bit of play out of this thing. And uh, 
push on the strut to get the bolt to come out. And I can pull the rotor back and it's going to pop out of the strut. Okay, now the strut is loose and we're going to feed this, now be careful, this is hot, so we're going to feed this out over on this driver's side, on the back side. Because this is how we're going to take it out. We're going to lower the car down, we're going to get that last 14 millimeter nut, and then we can feed the strut out of here. So on the top side, we've got our mount here with three, with three studs here, and they're all 14s. And I'm going to crack these all loose. Replacements of 15, the originals of 14. So we're going to crack them loose. And we can zip them off with the speed gun. I'm probably going to leave this one to last. And the replacement strut that we bought. The nuts are 15s, so we got our socket here already for that one. Let's take these off and set them up on the post here. We're not going to reuse these, we got new ones. And we're going to catch this right down to the end here. Now I can lift up on the strut from the inside here. Hold it up only take this off. And over here, we're going to just feed the strut out. And this thing is out. We're going to match it up that there's uh, a left and a right for this thing. So if we lay it on the ground here, you've got a the sides are lined up with the brackets and the hole. So we're good. And these are the new nuts. And this is a stick of telling you not to take, not to take this nut off. And we got these are all 15s, these new ones. And we're gonna feed this thing up into the hole and catch a couple of them. And I'm gonna change my socket over on my gun right now to the 15, so when I get in there, I can catch this and then zip them all down evenly. So we got our 15 millimeter on here. Just gonna run these down evenly. And it'll start sucking up. We're gonna go back and half inch ratchet. Up. Make sure they're all tight after. I'm not gonna tighten much more, but we'll double check them. Alright, let's get the uh Get the strut back in place now, put it back up. Some Nevin C's on the bolts, right, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we pushed our rotor back in place in here so that it's in the sprocket now, um, in the bottom of the thing. We're going to put a pry bar underneath the control arm to try and pull it down to get the 
bolt to line up yet. And, uh, a little bigger bar, but this small one is good for it. Then we just want to push in on this. Get that to line up and try and get one of the bolts to line up here. This one out with the hammer first. Okay, this thing has a couple of little tits on this that clamp into these holes over here. So we can lock that in in just a second. on this has paint inside the threads so what I like to do is um, we've got our extension here put a little got our, our bolt before I line the clips up on this I just want to get this bolt started and kind of clean those threads up so that I know because it doesn't it doesn't start it, you got to find the, the threads on it so I want to tighten this down and then find the angle of the extension of where I'm going with it. I don't want to strip this and have to deal with it. So I'm going to run the, the bolt down right now, clean out the, the paint on it. And now I, I can tell where my extension is because once I get the two brackets on it, it kind of, kind of makes it a little hard. So I'm, I'm kind of coming down on an angle with it so I know where I'm going. And we got this 
locking clip that has to go into the hole here first, this end of it here, and it pushes through the hole here. And I kind of got to get it down below the strut when I put this thing on. There it is. Okay. That lines up. And then this little groove right here lines up in the groove there. And now I know my extension is kind of got to be on an angle coming down to get this thing to start. Kind of like that. And I can start it and it's already caught. If you try and do it without removing the paint, it's, you, you may cross thread it. it. It takes a minute, but it's worth it. And, you know, once we tighten this up, the only thing we got to do is go upstairs and tighten that. Um, the four 15 millimeter bolts, we're going to put the half inch ratchet on, just give it a little snug. It's pretty close. But there ain't a lot to do on this. The two seven eights that we have for here with the wrench in the socket, the 12 millimeter here, and this mm -hmm. is the 17. And if you're going to do this at home and you don't have um, any torches or anything, you may have to, you know, cut this off, um, you know, with the sawzall or something. And these links are fairly inexpensive too. So um, if you can get it off the way we did, a little little burns, a little butane torch may, uh, propane torch may do it. But, uh, that, that's it for the strut. It's pretty simple and that's why I call them quick struts. And it's going to be the same exact procedure to, to, uh, to do the other side.